good afternoon so the it's a lengthy title that's given to me so that is the dynamics of designing innovative products and effective distribution strategies to serve the underserved markets so it's very simple subject for me okay uh, what are innovative products i was just trying to see uh, the some of the simplest we don't acknowledge like if i ask who is the innovator of uh, safety pin but other product you know very well the bulb okay but safety pin uh, can you remember who is the innovator but even in every village every corner in the whole world there will be one safety pin with somebody and it has multiple uses okay so that uh, that should be simple common replicable useful sustainable affordable these are the some of the things if our product has then it can become a universal product means wherever you go you can see that particular thing and uh, what is more important is uh, creating extensive product rather exclusive product exclusive means like uh, somebody specialized on a particular plane to bomb okay let's imagine so that is rarely used it is not for common man okay during wars or sometime they use like you see osama when he was killed there is a particular helicopter used but you have never seen that outside it's exclusively made for that for such kind of missions which are rarely done so but what we are looking at is extensive product many people think uh, i am a innovator i am a designer i am a creator so it's very simple so knowledge and skills converge to achieve the goal so if i ask everybody what is your goal what could be your goal say anybody who has set his goal already anybody having a goal here having please raise your hand just i want to listen one goal okay tell one goal anyone please volunteer to say no for now is not the goal goal is ultimate goal is life long goal is like so nobody has the goal you have anybody having the goal please raise and just say yeah company is not the goal so today you will register his company and tomorrow his goal is over after when goal is over what he will do <laughs> see i want to become billionaire that is also not a goal goal goes beyond like as sir said i want to work for this small and marginal farmers can i make the difference can i make a small farmer a marginal farmer happy see by thinking that aspect all these things whatever he has created that is there see that's how you need not, you need to set the goal you need not have anything knowledge skills nothing you start from zero all your education is like uh, control all del okay there is nothing called whatever you gained whatever i studied has little relevance in my life why did i study why you are studying you cannot sit at home no obviously <laughs> so there is some time need to be spent in your life so you are studying but when you get into jobs when you get into jobs i don't think anybody 100% connected with every subject that you have studied even myself i don't get connected 100% of all the subject that i study so education is because we need to study so we are studying okay this open knowledge for sustainable development one of the biggest problem of humanity is my knowledge did anybody bring any knowledge with you when you are born a small brain and nothing okay so as we gain knowledge it is the windows of the whole world it is the people who have created already some knowledge so bits and pieces you get and you get some understanding and every principle is already existing you are not creating anything new you are only trying to like art can be a kind of your creation art there are few things that can be because it is not exactly in that way it is existing okay so some things are there which can be created but many things are still they are being held in the name of intellectual property in the name of copyrights in the name of patents okay highest patents which i was just searching in calcutta they do they are basically on shoe <laughs> shoe designs 
So Bata has so many patents on shoe designs. See, is there any need for patenting so many things? Yoga is patented, everything is patented. Now at least the software people have started this open source software and all this. Okay, good. Now let us make a revolution, let us keep everything open. Knowledge should be as open as here, you know download.com, everybody is download.com. How many of you uplink every day? Information. It's very rare, no? In Facebook, whatever you put is nothing to do with anything to change in the whole world. Okay? That is not uplinking. So anything valuable, your own experience, nobody is doing. So knowledge here, I declared as open knowledge, whatever it is, I am against patents. So here is the way for freedom, ultimate freedom. If anybody is taking your knowledge, you should feel more happy. That's what freedom. And uh, sustainable development and then uh, uh, lessening inequities. See, inequity is the biggest problem on earth now. Poorest and the richest will be there in the same country. Something like you see how many people are ready to get into Tihar jail, good and bad. So there is not much vacancy for us, even if we commit something wrong. I had recently my confessions on corruption, my own confession. Even I should get some punishment, but no judge is ready because we are part of the system. So, knowledge is open if one is free to use, reuse and redistribute it without legal, social or technological restriction. And open knowledge uh, which I declared is copy as it is or change the design or achieve same result doing differently. So, what else freedom you want? And ultimately, many people say it is my product. See, if it is your product, you keep it with you only, don't give it to anybody. <laughs> It should be, everyone should consider as our product rather your product. So this is what lacking. Most, uh, the serving undeserved markets, like pharma, there are so many umpteen opportunities and uh, includes high risk and low profit. That's why people are not there. You ask the questions now, why people are not entering, why they are slow. So basically it is high risk and low profit. That's why the governments take such kind of initiatives, but government is not fit to do those things. So they have other things to do. So that's the problem. Now we need to enter and we need to create systems. And reaching uh, definitely the unreached and demand based approach creates sustainable systems. See ultimately by creating awareness, sensitization and all this, we need to help the communities to understand. So then the demand based approach will come. If anybody is writing, don't write because uh, these things are already uplinked. Okay? I believe in open knowledge. Before coming, it is there. So, including my lecture, if you want to listen my voice again and again, you can listen to. I am recording that also. And good is the best. You agree? Anybody wants to marry the best girl, they will never get married. Because best is difficult to handle. Best is difficult to get. So finally, you, you dream about the best, like somebody Aishwarya, say how many people are unable to manage her, that's why she is finally in somebody's hand, okay? <laughs> Still, we have to struggle to manage the best one. So that's why good is the best. And most importantly, today's best is tomorrow's good. Do you agree? To, to, today's best is, let us say, best car is available in the market. Within 2-3 days it becomes a good car because something else best will come. But good will remain for long term. So when you struggle on creating something, don't try to think about the best. If you think it is good enough, just present it, just share it, just give it. Okay? Don't work on the best things like 3 hours exam paper. Anybody given one day also is still writing. So here accessible, adaptable. Replicable, scalable, sustainable. If you have all these features, then only it is good. You put against the best, all these things will not fit. Best is not accessible. Best is not adaptable. Best is not replicable. Best is not scalable. Best is not sustainable. Got it? That's why you work on good things. And that's why we say, best friend, I don't know how you have best friends. We have only good friends. Distribution strategies, creating leaders for facilitation. See, everybody is a great leader here. Do you all agree? Leader is not somebody who gives a position. 
leader is not somebody who uh, uh, takes it okay everybody is a great leader and creating leaders for facilitation see ultimately remember leaders are ultimately those who are working for us none of us are working for ourselves anybody working for yourself tell me many people say why you want to get a job then say for myself can you work for yourself what you can do for yourself is shaving or taking bath or eating and brushing teeth that's what you can do even for organization you cannot work organization is structure like that do you come and paint white wash every day here or cleaning the floor so all the other staff lower staff will be working for the organization so you can only work for others because your food some farmer is producing and working there now already for the food that you are going to eat after one year say after six months somebody is already working for you he has just sown the seed do you know so they are working already behind the whole environment is working for you so you you can only work for others okay you cannot work for yourself and leader is not a leader but creates only leaders agree no yes leader is not a leader who creates only leaders many people may not agree that's the problem now you see our government did not have a leader even now if vyasar was a great leader he would have created tens of leaders there should not have been a vacuum why there is vacuum so leader is not the person who takes all the power but who gives the power empowering is leadership a person striving to achieve success in an enterprise or business is already following all the principles of business many people you say i want to do mba see mba can produce only slaves slaves means for about 10 families in india somewhere you will join with the highest pack and you work for that family you know what are those 10 families one birla one reliance one tata one who are there since uh, more than 100 years they are there and still they will remain for next 500 years or 1000 years and your dream is make a best mba and join the best family here <laughs> so you don't require any mba you see those people who are running those businesses they have never done mbas let's say they are hiring the slaves okay got it so mba course mainly teaches how to be humble and how to serve those communities okay it doesn't empower you if really all those mbas had been good everybody would have been an entrepreneur here everybody would have created thousands of jobs for the whole world not for one family or two families okay so process and results both are important that's what you have to remember the ultimately achieving result within 3 years i became like 1000 crore empire business you are in tihar jail so don't look at result anybody can be very rich and everybody can start a company and become the biggest company within 2 3 years with our political our politicians are very good if you want to go the shortcut way also they can take you there without process or anything so don't believe in shortcuts and that's not your goal okay process you follow the process and the results both are important why design cycle is the most simplest and best design agreed all over the world you cannot change much you can only change some parts like this or like this or like this but wheels remain same almost all it is so it should be simplicity and multi utility accessibility sustainable product scale up so there are some factors which within the design you have to consider opportunities did you see any opportunity in trash anybody visited the trash i visited one trash here as well as i visited one trash in uh, canada so we founded an organization grounding open source hardware there uh, for uh, open knowledge and all that but our trash definitely many people they take away it's a livelihood for many people you know but there the trash is they have a computer they have a fridge they have everything in their yard so even within our trash also we have energy and other different opportunities are there so amtin opportunities exist and there is gold in every trash that you have to remember goals are more important than ideas see if you are thinking about idea idea it has nothing to do okay anybody having ideas ultimately you see the goal and all your ideas will converge for achieving that goal okay don't look at the idea first and then set that idea as your goal idea has nothing to do 
okay goal is more important you understood what is goal you got it you need a special 2 3 days for that understanding goal itself nobody teaches what is goal you set all simple goals what do you think like i want to do this course i want to get a job by this age i want to marry is that marriage a goal <laughs> i want to have kids is that a goal so they are not the goals they are the simplest and easily achievable it is a flow all these pictures i took uh, for the simplicity because all these things had been done long back from the old books even the pictures are copy left pictures you got it means nobody will question if i use those pictures <laughs> okay so that's the simplest plow with pedal you can plow and you can go okay how simple it is now we have tractors and all different companies okay what is more important is common goal you see your goal is not your goal okay as i said you cannot work for yourself you can only work for others so it means you will have only common goal okay common goal is the biggest goal okay for gandhi ji what is the common goal independence no he thought of freedom but finally they gave independence and went <laughs> in hindi and uh, telugu we say swatantra we say swaraj nothing they gave only independence day you celebrate independence or freedom day independence day <laughs> but gandhi ji he thought uh, we are getting freedom but nobody gave freedom they only gave independence independence is not equivalent to freedom got it so that is the kind of goal within that goal how to achieve and how to go about harder to achieve and easy to sustain and unlimited growth okay some discussions are happening can i listen to any discussion see some of the common aspects are there which are relevant to food water energy health education habitats environment geoecology all these are very simple things but these are the things without which there is no meaning of having born on this earth okay because the fundamental thing having born on this earth means one should have access to simplest thing but you see food the seed is patented as sir has said he has given the total picture okay how everything has made a person a slave especially farmer slave because they don't have freedom water you have to buy the poor villager is buying 300 rupees uh, he is spending 300 on drinking water even hyderabad for 2 months we pay only 130 rupees for water even we take bath also we drink water we take bath we do everything here we pay hardly 130 rupees but in poor villager he is paying 300 because he is buying water from his own village now energy slave complete slavery because subsidy no power farmer cannot cultivate even we cannot uh, here in urban areas they provide but in uh, you go in rural areas see health everywhere corporatization education corporatization habitats they are not like unless we have ac unless we have some other systems we cannot sit here can we sit in any of the rooms without those things it's very difficult environment you know what happened geoecology is beyond environment okay where we address everything and cleaning the corners is the greatest work agree you have anybody to clean you this whole thing but you go and see that corner with your finger you take out there will be some dirt why people don't work there the contractor will work here the officer will work here contractor will work immediately around you some people work there there nobody will work in any room got it room means the space so that is what the greatest work because always there are corners where you can work so you don't think everybody is doing that where can i work what are the ideas which uh, thing i have to innovate all those corner means not <laughs> don't make a device to which cleans the corners even that is a innovative idea <laughs> you'll be number 1 because till now nobody worked on uh, which cleans the corners okay see ultimately in any system any product uh, facilitation you work on the system first is do the study that could be recognized on that could be anything then awareness sensitization what is sensitization sensitization is very difficult to give like awareness awareness means i can give you a pamphlet but sensitization means a particular time space different things are required okay 
like even this lecture i cannot give at the midnight can i give <laughs> will kick me off so <laughs> sensitization goes beyond okay it is a special thing which we have to deal with and design in education nobody gives sensitization okay for a doctor he sees is more important if patient dies whether they take away the patient he never bothers beyond so there is no sensitization in his profession got it and uh, design do you design the thing then give the demonstration do the piloting test it in the field and uh, create leaders without leaders nothing will go okay and uh, scaling up results and outcome will come and uh, recognition and acknowledge everybody like in software industry they don't acknowledge they only see only two people at the top one or two people acknowledge everybody uh, adobe they acknowledge something you see any adobe software they open up you see some names apart from that you have to claim you have to put uh, that company name and claim i am so and so then only you get married <laughs> the company never gives a certificate you work down this 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 and all that do they give only you have to put in your resumes and you have to tell i have done this 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 okay no company acknowledges anybody especially in software that is a bad habit but you acknowledge in every product everybody monitoring and then again go for study so there is a kind of loop okay enterprises and enterprises never ever think that i am the right from a real entrepreneur creates more enterprises rather monopolizing from raw material to the final product like some people they think from raw material like mining to even making the needle i will be the only person there are so many companies here like reliance is one example chappal bhi bej rahe aur <laughs> you name anything digital product bej rahe sabji bhi bej rahe everything if you and i go and sell sabji on a road what people will think but you get a job in reliance and sell the sabji nobody thinks anything <laughs> chappal bhi bej rahe kuch nahi hota bar bar shop open karne wale the they would have started here but uh, all the barbers came and said we will break it so they have stopped it so <laughs> they want to rule from everything to anything why they are not into agriculture they know it is not a it's a poor man's job not a profitable job sir knows very well otherwise they would have been agriculture yeah where they can have maximum uh, profit they started all those businesses so never ever think like this you create enterprises and enterprises you can be a small enterprise but don't think i am the whole thing okay give opportunity for everyone under your umbrella Uh, recognize the contribution of every stakeholder as i said from start to end so that that should be the culture and uh, field level intervention you see there are basically four pillars for any activity uh, research is a must okay and then facilitation then activity and uh, capacity development all this are integral part for any activity or anything that you want to introduce to the communities like opportunities which i had been looking some of the opportunities even uh, whatever i discuss here i am not uh, educated in those disciplines okay having just seen you need to have this not thick skin sensitive skin we want okay whatever happens we don't respond so just see the energy there need there is need of 1 billion good stuff do you see an opportunity here 1 billion is it a less thing it's the biggest thing but if i ask anybody here if 1 billion challenge is there can you raise nobody will raise if there are only 10 missiles to be made and you want to become one scientist in that uh, for your life long for developing 10 missiles you will be ready for 10 missiles okay even if you are planning for mars future mission you are ready for that but without completing this mission of 1 billion where poor people are still cooking and uh, impacting the environment you are not ready the finish of this job and you see degraded soils as sir said the, the mineral that is the by 2020 definitely you will not have food food will be the costliest commodity energy is already becoming a costliest commodity so food is another biggest challenge and sanitation do you think we are getting sanitized every day good sanitation you see our toilets which was outside we brought in home why we brought attached if it is attached means so both the na गली का कुत्ता बेड का ऊपर से लाया ऐसा हो गया सी यू हैव टू क्लीन इट यू हैव टू कीप इट सो द टॉयलेट इज द मोस्ट कॉस्टलीएस्ट स्पेस इन योर होल हाउस 
because per square feet the expenditure is the highest. Okay, got it? Even mandir bhi itna kam wala hai. So, uh, green habitation, the habitats you see building, they go on constructing with concrete buildings, buildings, buildings. You need to see aspect, you need to see the different things within a building. Do you get anything spiritual uh, when you sit in your hostel? See, any habitat is the space which strives you towards your the biggest goals. Spiritual is not that uh, bhajan, okay? Spiritualism is different. That spiritual means your own purpose of living on this earth. That question it should occur to you. Then only you can strive for bigger things. In none of our habitations it happens. It's very rare. Uh, facilitation sh sharing, the, that is very critical. See, creating leaders, that is very critical. Do you have any leadership course in your syllabus? Because uh, it's a special thing that should be dealt. Okay, it cannot be given as a subject. And uh, knowledge sharing, like I have created, we have, for creating leaders, we have a small program like uh, Geo Spirit and Earth Leaders. Okay, Earth Leaders means if you have the biggest goal in your life, you are the Earth Leader. By declaring your goal, you can become Earth Leader at that time of achievement. Okay, but you can strive for that thing. Geo Spirit is ultimately having the spirit for this earth. And knowledge sharing. 300 plus web links I have created for just sharing, sharing and there are more but I am just putting on uh, 300 plus web links here. So, every day thousand people having access and just going through and contacting. Now also one person is with me and two more people are coming. So, they come with me, join. Means I mean online physical like that. So, every day something is being shared and capacity development. But ultimately for whom organizations, agencies, agencies, institutions, enterprises, programs, projects, different ways we are reaching the people, but not by one means. Leaders and leaders means he should have leaders at all levels, okay. Even the village leader, I have declared some people, see a small uh, washerman, I declared him as earth leader from a small village, remote village. Do you think he is worth for earth leader? He is hundred percent worth because he facilitated 500 good stores. If you multiply a small washerman, a literate person from a village can facilitate 500 good stores. You imagine for a chief minister. If a CM can set his goal like a washerman in a village, he would have become the earth leader. Got it? So it is never say a person should get a noble prize. It is very difficult for somebody to acknowledge somebody. So, even for me, the ant is as much important like an elephant. You remember that thing. So, create leader at different levels. Never imagine you create a high fi IAM graduate and give the top pack and you don't acknowledge anybody underneath. Nothing happens. See, these are some of the designs which I created. But you can see that one, you can identify CPU it is. Got it? So, even if you have an eye, Whatever you are working, you can create from that thing, okay. So, a CPU can be used as two pot stove and down below it is a flower pot turned upside down, okay. These are gas fire stoves, these are not seen very frequently with fan and all that. That fan is from CPU only, because of CPUs that fan cost has come down, you know 24 hours you run, nothing happens for servers you use them, no. So, because of that low cost fan, this kind of technologies are possible. And you can see for lighting also a stove can be used down below. In Africa there is no power like us, many villages. So all these opportunities are there. And all this, that is oil tin can make CM it is written, okay. That is a simple oil tin can, 15 liter you can find anywhere. And uh, that is another gas fire stove. And that is open stove, a big uh, gas fire stove. So this is recently just about. Uh, last 10-15 uh, days, yesterday also, day before yesterday again one more stove was constructed. For uh, school children in uh, tribal from Adilabad, okay, tribal children in a school they were cooking and using too much wood. So, uh, after constructing this thing they are saving one cartload of wood per week now. And uh, the cost that they are saving, let say for about within 6 months, uh, it will be like around 15,000 to 20,000 they are saving in money. So, it is a big achievement. It is a small initiative. Again, they are getting the money, whatever they invest in that uh, design. So, I designed then and there. It is like working, I went at 9 o'clock and next day by 4 o'clock I returned from that school. 
it is a continuous work, never stop the work, if you are interested you can work, there is no tiredness for anybody who is interested, got it? So, if I start any stove, I will go hit a stretch, I say without completing this you are not going. So, we complete, we test it, if it is okay then we leave, otherwise I say I will sit here only, I will not go Hyderabad. And uh, museum on stove, this is the first museum in the whole world which I started the museum because uh, there are more toilet museums or any other museums in the world but people have not worked on this which every day we eat. Even toilets can be shared but nobody shares the cook stoves. Anybody ask your cook stove for cooking? Even the poorest of the poor will never share his stove. But uh, that thing nobody has worked much, okay? Another is Bayachar culture. See, as I said, there are uh, umpteen opportunities, everything. Bayachar is nothing but it's a charcoal, it's a carbon. The carbon is having many solutions, you know very well. Nanocarbon, this carbon, we name differently. But to make it simplify, we call it Bayachar culture. This is the term I coined. Bayachar culture is the term I coined. Otherwise, we discuss only on Bayachar because it's an integral part of our cultures, our spirituals, our belief, rituals. Uh, cremations, altars, everything it is there because when there is fire there is charcoal, when there is fire there is some smoke, when there is fire there is some ash. So, we have all the elements which can create that sanctity, okay. When all these things are there, their God is there. You take any religion, these aspects will be there. And like in practices right from washing your teeth, okay. Earlier people were uh, uh, cleaning the teeth with uh, bayachar, I mean charcoal. Now anybody cleans? You think when you put white powder, your teeth will be white. They are turning only yellow, okay. So, uh, the, this will take away the smell also and it gives lots of sense to your teeth. But here, we think the other way around, nobody will sit next to me, nobody will come pass our pura hota in advertisement mein. So, nothing will happen. So, <laughs> we think oh, that mint only is powerful. You imagine that mint is powerful, more powerful and it... Uh, uh, it is, it does not suck away, but this charcoal sucks away. Soap pits we can use for filtering media, many water plants, you see drinking water, all the system, the charcoal we are using. And uh, like for agriculture, this is what I did. In India, I am one of the first person to apply this charcoal for agriculture system. Ash we were applying regularly, ash has, ash has different value, but applying charcoal has at least 20, 30 values like fertilizers as are said. The, when we apply to a fertilizer, majority of fertilizer goes away, but when charcoal is there, it will keep it with. And then uh, like securing the crop from drought, uh, reclaim the degraded soil, water conservation, lessen the impact of hazardous pesticides and chemicals which already we applied, it takes away the poisons, reducing emissions, carbon sequestration, greenhouse gases, that also it, it will take away and uh, it will address the uh, ultimate carbon sequestration and increase in crop yield. Then increase in carbon, nitrogen, pH and other things, uh, it will buffer uh, the pH as well as increase the availability. Impacts of biochar, it will last for 1000 years, you apply only once, it is for 1000 years. And uh, temperature regulation in the soil and reduction in leaching of the biochemical fertilizers applied, whatever little you apply, it can be retained and given to the plant. Increase in soil microbes and other things, so ultimately it gives a very good like multi-story, multi-million size apartment. This soil micro, uh, this biochar is a residential place for soil micro. How can you imagine the density should increase without creating anything like that? And here you can see easily with biochar application, how the roots are there and how the plant has grown. So, all this you can see by yourself by having a small trial plot. And the fertilizers, I made the farmers do how to make their own fertilizers from their own material. They need not buy from Nagarjuna or this, that and all the other companies. We have to empower the communities. See here, this is the simplest enterprise that farmer can produce fertilizer and sell the whole village. Okay, you need not wait for every year, lottery charge or firing, something will happen for all these fertilizers. You see, every day morning you in the press it is there. And you can see the height, 1.5 feet, it is up to 6 feet, it has gone. Urea, all this we artificially we give, nobody will go to Olympics with steroids, he won't live longer. So, our soil happened same thing, we are bringing like chemical steroids again and again and we killed the whole soil. If we do same thing for humans, then we say it is bad, it is wrong, doping, all this. But the same thing we are doing for our own animals, our own soil and everywhere we are doing to sustain ourselves. Methane emissions, so when we apply the charcoal, the emissions will come down. Paddy field is one of the highest contributor for methane emissions. 
so that way also we can control the criticism on our own agriculture even managing the cattle sheds poultry and many other things you get bad smell no wherever the cattle shed there so again these are a greenhouse gases so you by applying charcoal you can make a very good fertilizer urea is urine okay urine is urea so all that with is soaked with charcoal nicely it can be applied and you will get very good results so these are simple technologies is there anything that you need to make it complex do you want to make it complex and is anybody interested in business interest in business then you will make it complex <laughs> it's very simple urinals our own urinals we just flush and let the whole urea urine go to sea and again we struggle all the lpg is used to make the urea too much energy is spent from from nitrogen tapping urea is very difficult so your own urinals very clean urinals you need not apply all the chemicals in your urinals just put this charcoal it will take away the smell also simplest things you can make and you can apply for your gardens or send to your villages so green buildings i use the charcoal for the buildings ash can be used but charcoal i am one of the first person to use for the bricks okay so with cement sand and charcoal it creates insulation they are breathing this walls won't breathe when uh, whatever emissions come out they won't breathe there is only exhaust fan but these bricks breathe so you will get fresh and insulation property so temperature regulation So there are many opportunities. This is our research center near Janga. Anybody interested can come here and spend your time to learn all these simple things. About 100 kilometers away. And that uh, first building is constructed exclusively with the uh, mud soil, local materials. So I mean, how do you account for the strength of the structure? Yeah. Because charcoal as such is not a very strong material. Yeah, it's a good question. Say when we are using these beams and other things. when you use for walls it is only space filling that is first thing second thing is uh, we can vary the charcoal uh, for each brick let us say for lower you only apply half kg per brick okay second you apply 1 kg third you get 3 kg because as you go higher level you don't mend with anything there okay so that way you can change because already beams are there they take the structural strength you are only filling so that's not a big thing Uh, very convenient uh, i also did same thing i did not go from uh, bottom to top so wherever i require i use the nice uh, border also you can apply there will be alternate like right trap use two strong bricks and in between use this one it creates very nice pattern also like black white black white see i am not telling just get back into the completely natural completely environment see it's only adoption how much you can adopt and putting charcoal in the billing is carbon sequestration you agree when you put charcoal in the, it's a good thing against global warming we are uh, uh, finding all geo engineering methods how do we sequestration this carbon so this is the best way even after demolition this waste has some value because it lives for 1000 years so it adds value to the soil so it's a complete cycle in itself yeah very good question See, Sir also knows from agriculture background that 800 million tons of crop residues available already. So many people are starting this crop residue base, agri residue base, power plants also because that surplus is already there. When you are going outside into the countryside during the months of say from January, February to this uh, June, July, anywhere you go, there will be fires in the fields. See, many people, uh, farmers, they are taking only. 10 to 30 percent of the product from the plant for even mulching or making uh, compost and all other things. Rest nearly that 70 to 50 percent is being just wasted. So there is already it's existing. So when you are applying, see somebody is dead. Do you take only head from America and get and bury him because head is more important? The farmer is doing same thing. He has cultivated the whole plant from root to shoot. he has applied pesticide to every leaf he did not apply only to flower or fruit but ultimately when it needs he takes only that fruit or flower then he leaves everything wasted and little bit only is using now i say everything is valuable so you can use energy is a commodity earlier energy was not agriculture commodity now i say apart from crop this energy which we require very much that is also energy and that is the only renewable energy 
ओके डायरेक्ट सोलार एप्लीकेशन एंड दिस कैंड ऑफ इज वेरी गुड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी ओके सो यू कैन ऑलवेज यूज सो ऑलरेडी आई नो दिस क्वेश्चन आर देर एंड विदउट दैट आई वुड नॉट हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस वी आर सेंसिटिव ओके गॉट इट सो वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दोज थिंग्स दैट्स वाई आई सेट दैट फार्मर शुड प्रोड्यूस आई डिड नॉट से एन इंडस्ट्री शुड प्रोड्यूस वी हैव टू एम्पावर द लोकल कम्युनिटीज देन दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड विच प्लांट आई टू यूज विच प्लांट आई शुड नॉट यूज Yeah thank you I'm sure a lot of